Okay, so we're going to go through the answer to question D8.13 from Isaac's Physics, Essential Pre-Uni Physics, the game board D8, Refraction and Total Internal Reflection. So we're going to go through this question here, and this asks us to work out the critical angle between cubic zirconia and air. So that's what we're looking at today. So we're going to use the equation sine of the critical angle equals n2, the refractive index of substance 2, divided by the refractive index of substance 1. This equation comes from the equation sheet that you get for A-level physics. Um, so we've got substance, the refractive index of substance 2 is air, because it's going into air, and we know that that is 1, divided by the refractive index of substance 2. 1, which it came out of, which is cubic zirconia, which is 2.16. So when I work that out, that gives me an answer of 0 0.46, which is equal to the, uh, the sine of the critical angle. When I um, do the inverse of the sine, then I will get my answer to be 27.6 degrees. So the next question we're going to look at is D818 from Isaac Physics. Essential pre uni physics D8, refraction and total internal reflection. So, this question asks us to calculate the speed of light in diamond. So, we're going to use um, the equation n equals c divided by cs. So, what we've got here is the refractive index of the substance equals the speed of light divided by the speed of light of the second substance. So, we have we're looking at diamond, so again I've got the information about diamond here, so we've got the refractive index of diamonds is 2.42. We know that the speed of light, which is also on the equation sheet as a known fact on the first page on the AQA um, sheet, is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, divided by our secondary substance. So when we rearrange that, we will get that. 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2.42 will give us our speed of light and our uh, substance, which gives us an answer of 1.24 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Okay, so we're going to look at the question D8.19 from Isaac Physics, Essential Pre-Uni Physics D8 board, refraction and total internal reflection. So uh, we've been asked to work out the speed of light in cubic zirconia as a fraction of the speed of light in air. So we're going to first of all work out what the speed of light is in cubic zirconia. Um, so we're going to start with using the equation that is given on the um, AQA data sheet for A-level physics, which is N equals C over CS, C being the speed of light, CS being the speed of light in the new substance, and N being the refractive index. So we've got cubic zirconia, so we've got this data from the beginning of our question. So we know that the refractive index is 2.16. We know the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That's given on the AQA data sheet. Um, and we want to know the speed of light in our secondary substance. So when I rearrange that equation, it gives me 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2.16, which gives me an answer of 1.4 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Um, but I need to know that as a fraction of light it says a speed of uh, fraction of the speed of light so i'm just going to divide my answer again by 3 times 10 to the 8 which is the speed of light which gives me an answer of 0.463 and it asks for units um, and it asks for three significant figures there's no units because it's a fraction so no units and it's 0.463 okay so the next question i'm going to look at is question d8 0.22 from Isaac Physics, Central pre uni Physics D8, Refraction and Total Internal Reflection Game Board. So we're being asked here, when light passes from water into air at an angle of incident of 38 degrees, the angle of refraction is 39, calculate the refractive index of ice, give your answer to three significant figures. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at when it goes from water into ice, we know that the angle of incidence is 38 degrees and the angle of refraction is 39 degrees. So we're going to use the equation N1, the sub refractive index of substance 1, sine theta equals N2 sine theta, which is given on the AQA data sheet. So our refractive index of substance 1 is water, and that is given at the start of the question. So 1.34 sine 38 angle of incidence here equals n2 which we don't know which is the refractive index what we've been asked to work out of ice gives us sine 
39. When I rearrange that, um, it will give me 0.825 divided by sine 39 gives me my uh, refractive index of substance 2. When I calculate that, it'll give me an answer of 1.31, which is the three significant figures.